EFNN, The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. On September the 30th, the very last trading day of the month. And we're looking at the Dow at 10 a.m., this Tiger Financial News Network market update, down, down 30 at 29,193. Did dip a little bit, but so far for three days, it hasn't taken out the low of 28,958 made on Tuesday. <clears throat> Let's look at the S&P. S&P is this particular moment is now up a little, up about two points. Yesterday did take out that low, left side low and went to a leg D, and so far the low this, uh, on, at this particular moment, 32 minutes into the trading day, is above yesterday's low. That's kind of important, looking at the QQQ, and that was a lot weaker. The QQQs went to a lower low yesterday into leg D in the Chapman Wave, just above the Chapman Wave inside track propellant zone. Uh, it's trading down 12 cents at 271.71. We'll see where we close today. The day is young. There's going to be a lot of choppy action after this terrible month that we've had looking at the IWM. <clears throat> Russell 2000 actually acting quite much better chart formations than the others to be making uh, higher lows uh, since the low of four sessions ago at 163.58. It's trading at 167.25. Now, this is going to be interesting because gold is up about $10 at 16.78. Silver is up much stronger. It's up nine, at 19.17, up 0.45. I like the chart of silver a lot more than the chart of gold. That's just at the moment they tend to switch and change and do all sorts of things, but that's what it's looking at. But if you're looking at the dollar, the dollar's gotten right to the 14-period exponential moving average, right at above both the 14 and the 9-period moving average, up 38 ticks at 112.47. If all of next week uh, we see a trade underneath 110, that's going to be very significant. But if it pops over 113.25, that just says same old, same old. And we're looking at uh, crude oil. At this particular point, crude oil is down just a little bit. And the TLT, that is bonds, is actually rallying so that yields can finally pull back a little bit. Bonds at 104.22, up 43 cents. I'll be back for the Tiger Technician's Hour. And check out my opening call, my daily newsletter going to be a very important couple of days coming up beginning of october i'll see you in a moment hope you can stay otherwise have a great weekend in any case have a great week